Okay, question 4.1. We want to derive the Laplace transforms of the following elementary signals. The first signal is delta t. We know that if we have signal xt, then its transform, its Laplace transform is shown by x of s and this equals integral from 0 to infinity of x of t times e to the power of minus st dt. So here xt is delta t, so I can say x of s is integral from 0 to infinity of delta t times e to the power of minus st dt. Okay, and from, from sampling property, also known as uh, safety property, we know that the this integral equals, or in general, integral from minus infinity to infinity of delta t to, a, to any function, say f of t dt, equals the value of the f, the function f, or the signal f at zero okay so this means xs equals the value of e to the power of minus st where t is zero so this equals to the e to the power of minus s times zero which is one so laplace transform for unit impulse function is one so let's let's do that for the time shifted version of uh, uh, impulse function. Okay, the sampling property, if I want to write that in a general form, the sampling property says, if I put here delta t minus tau or t minus t zero, or maybe I have to write it in a better form. The sampling property, the general form of the sampling property says that the integral of delta t minus t zero times f of t dt, this equals the value of the signal or the function, whatever this is, at t zero, okay? Now I want to calculate, let me write it here, I want to calculate Laplace transform of the time shifted version of delta function, then we would have delta t minus t0 times e to the power of minus st dt from 0 to infinity. Well, from sampling property, we know this equals e to the power of minus s times t0 because that's where t minus t0 equals 0, okay? Then t equals t0, and that, in, under this condition, delta t would be 1, okay? So we can say the Laplace transform of delta t minus t0 is e to the power of uh, minus s times t0. Okay. So let's solve the question for part b. We have unit step xt equals e to the power uh, equals ut. So if I want to calculate the Laplace transform, I take the integral of from zero to infinity of ut times e to the power of minus st dt. All right, we know that ut, the unit step, is either zero or one. It is one if t is larger than or equal to zero and it is zero if t is smaller than zero. Well, for here, the integration limit is between zero to infinity. I guess t is between zero and infinity, okay? So that means ut equals one. So I can replace that by, I can replace ut by one. So we would have integral of e to the power of minus st dt 
from 0 to infinity. If I take the integral here, the integral equals 1 minus 1 over s times e to the power of minus st, where t is 0 to t is infinity. So this equals minus 1 over s times e to the power of minus s times infinity minus e to the power of minus s times 0. If I replace these the values, then we would have x of s equals minus 1 over s times, well, e to the power of minus s is 1 over e to the power of s times infinity minus 1. This equals minus 1 over s times 0 minus 1, and this equals 1 over s. So I can say if xt is unit impulse, then its Laplace transform is 1 over s.